Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back YouTubers and Mad fans, this is Mad Money Shot, Sniff Not The Mad Cheese as always. In today's video I'm going to be going over my top 10 tips, tricks, and cheats on offense and defense of things you can do in Madden 21 that are going to give you significant advantages when it comes to offense, defense, and special teams, which I'll also have at the very end. Before I start the video though, if you guys could do me a little bit of a favor, scroll down a little bit, hit the like button, like, shares, comments, all that stuff really helps out my channel. Uh, if you like what you see, make sure you stick around by hitting the subscribe button. Other than that, let's go and let's get right into the video. So starting off on offense, my first tip is playmaking. People still don't know how to playmaker. Playmaking has been in the game for several years and people still don't know how to do it. It's really just controlling the nearest receiver to you by hitting the right stick in the up or whatever direction you want him to go. Now that's just a tip, but a cheat would be if uh, you're running with the quarterback, a lot of times using that exact same playmaker to motion that receiver or running back up will a lot of times take away the closest computer defender or even turn him into a blocker like you'll see on this play here. So anytime you plan on running with the quarterback, use the playmaker either to get an additional blocker or to just clear the area of defenders. It's also a very good trick. When it comes to passing, one of the most effective things on defense is, uh, especially when it comes to zones, is cornerbacks, DBs, abilities to bump, uh, basically disrupt timing, uh, slow down receivers, just chipping away at receivers, basically redirecting them into zones is one of the ways that zones are effective. You can essentially take this away with a little bit of a cheat when it comes to just motioning receivers across. A lot of times motioning a tight end or a receiver will cause the interior DBs and linebackers to flip. And now you can see if I motion snap before they get reset, I have a wide open B route here, uh, which like I said, this is something that um, um, your opponent doesn't have the ability to to change. This is something that happens automatically. You have more control over this than your opponent does who controls their own defense, which makes this a very explosive cheat when it comes to the passing game. So simply flipping your DBs by motioning across a receiver will a lot of times result in wide open releases off the line and very explosive passing plays. Another good offensive cheat when it comes to your running back stamina, if you only have one good running back and you have a critical situation where you need him to be at top uh, condition, you can actually get some of the stamina back by simply rotating through the plays. You can see my running back here is in a deep red. That's essentially right before he's about to get automatically replaced. If I just rotate over and over and over through one system of series of plays, I essentially will do that until he gets a shade lighter and he'll come out a little bit fresher, a little bit faster, a little bit more sprint at his disposal. Uh, also calling timeouts, getting through two minute warnings, stuff like that will a lot of times completely replenish him as you can see right here on the very next play he's right back to being at full strength. So whether you want to get a little bit of an advantage by cycling through or calling a timeout so he's at top uh, form on the very next play that's one of the best ways to get uh, an advantage with your running back. On the defensive side, for years I've been saying that tapping the catch button is huge. This year, though, tapping the tackle button is a very big, uh, you know, very big advantage. So if you're trying to stop passing plays or run plays, and you're going to get blocked, uh, which essentially in a lot of interior runs you're going to get blocked. Like this is an inside zone, my opponent's going to run right here. So I'm going to try to cut this off. I'm going to get blocked, but essentially tapping the tackle button, uh, which is either the A button on Xbox or the X on PlayStation, will essentially suction you through a lot of time through these type of blocks into the running back if they're close by doesn't work from very far away but you can see in this particular play it does so that's something that at any time you're getting blocked or at any time you're trying to get through a lot of uh, a lot of traffic tapping the tackle button will help you it'll essentially guide you and steer you right to the play that also works like I was saying and I mentioned that last year when it comes to getting interceptions uh, anytime that you don't want to try to have to time the interception you can basically just start tapping the catch button that's wire triangle uh, on the Xbox or PlayStation and a lot of times it'll go a little bit further and have a little bit of a glitchy animation you can see right here I get a little bit of a boost it actually suctions me towards the ball the same way it suctions you towards the the running back in the you know on the on the run plays it'll do the exact same thing when it comes to interceptions it will suction you towards the ball and just really highly increase your chance of getting the uh, interception successfully 
Another really good new tip that I myself just recently learned, if you're having a little bit of a hard time, you feel like your user is a little bit slow, uh, linebackers especially have this problem this year where they just you just don't feel like you can cover much of the field. Um, you're just a little bit behind a lot of times uh, on your routes, and that's especially when it comes to zones. Um, you can see that, I mean, it's just the, the, the coverage is really stiff and rigid this year, and that's because of the new change of direction attribute which was recently added. This is something that, especially when it comes to linebackers, um, is very low 75 that's not very good at all i mean cornerbacks and safeties are much higher you can see they're typically in the 90 range and they're also much faster typically so this year it's best to use safety or cornerback in coverage but to go a step further you can actually eliminate that penalty that change of direction penalty by blitzing your user whether it's a, a play that's already has the cornerback or safety blitzing or whatever the linebacker blitzing or whatever or just simply pre-snap putting your user on a blitz will make it to the point where that change of direction penalty completely disappears and you can go right back to using the entire field the same way you may have in years past in Madden. So simply put, just make sure you're blitzing your user every single play and you will be able to cover much more of the field with no change of direction penalty. The next tip is something that can easily be turned into a cheat. Ultimately, if you hit the R3 button once the quarterback um, is you know, taking off or getting outside the pocket, uh, you can essentially send the closest defender uh, to that quarterback, which is something that I've been using quite a bit uh, by basically dropping a guy in the zone, then waiting for the quarterback to leave the pocket like he does here. You can see all of his blockers are or just completely disregarded then i click that r3 button you can see i'm going to have a pretty quick path right to the quarterback so if you have a mobile quarterback or somebody that's running the ball a lot set a trap with a hook zone or a qb spy with one of the defensive ends wait for him to leave the pocket and then just hit the uh the right stick just push it in which is a which is called the r3 and you'll get a lot of sacks or easy pressure Next tip, when it comes to run defense, uh, you, you're not going to get a lot of uh, push when it comes to short yard situations. Even if it's like, I mean, it's a fourth and one, something like that, where you know that your opponent's probably going to run. Even if you're sending a lot of additional blitzers, pressing the line, pinching, whatever, none of that really seems to help. What really helps is guessing run this year. In years past, it was a bad idea, but this year it's kind of mandatory. You kind of have to. If you don't want to get these cheesy fall forward animations, you really have to guess run when it's an obvious running situation situation to get those stops. Guessing pass is another one where ultimately um, when you guess pass your blitzing is going to be much more effective. A lot of times when you guess when you don't guess pass the edge defenders when they come off in a rush will a lot of times hesitate with the idea that it's a possible run especially against play actions. So if you guess pass it completely eliminates that and they just go straight for the quarterback. So that's something that they'll be a little bit better in coverage but you'll also get a lot more sacks and I haven't really noticed much of a penalty when it comes to run defense when guessing pass either. The next tip is pass defense. We're going to go with pretty much all man all the time this year. And it's not just because the coverage is tighter, but there's also a penalty when it comes to uh, man coverage. A lot of times when the man coverage is tight, uh, guys will drop balls that they really shouldn't drop. Uh, I hear a lot of people complaining about this, that the receivers drop balls. It's because they don't understand that man coverage and tight coverage in general, which typically you only get from man, a lot of times will force those drops because there's a penalty incurred based off of the tight coverage. So to me, I don't run any zone pretty much most of the game. I might run it a few times a game, but it's really all about man coverage this year. You're going to see uh, a lot of things happen that shouldn't based simply off of the penalty that you get from tight man coverage. And then last but not least, on special teams, you really only have the option when choosing a punt return play to get one blocker up the middle, but you can easily change that by simply bringing back one of these outside uh return blockers and then once the play starts all you have to do is quickly switch over to one of the middle uh, blockers and bring him back and now you can see i have three blockers over the middle as opposed to one give me a much greater advantage uh, on a punt return for a possible uh, explosive return so that's something that you can do just about every single time and give yourself basically twice as many blockers as you would normally have so that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see more videos like this, do me a favor. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.